guys it's coffee and today we are back playing the descendants asylum challenge and man i don't even know what's going on we're picking up right where we left off and i'll show you what i mean in just a second but we are going to do some setup for basically making the game the way that it's supposed to be now for easy mode is this easy mode but um yeah look at what we have here so i believe this is either ben or harry I'm pretty sure it's Ben. I'm going to have to double check in just a second. But can we talk about how Uma tried to come to bed with him and Evie tried to come to bed with him? Like, what is happening? Is that a tattoo? Evie, did I give you a tattoo? What? I must have. There's only one on one side. I didn't know Evie had a tattoo. Huh. News to me. All right. Let, let me see who's who is in bed. Is it Harry? Oh, it's Harry. Okay. So it's really weird to me that Evie would be trying to sleep with him. But Uma, I guess it like kind of makes sense. And she is pissed. She's like, how dare you be in my bed? What the heck is your problem? So I did go ahead. Everybody is set except for Mal to get a job. So in the rules for easy mode, all of the Sims are allowed jobs, but they all have to be in the criminal career because it makes the least amount of money. And if they lose their job they lose it forever and it's not our problem uh, we're not allowed to get them a new job it's just basically to help with income so we're gonna go ahead and get them all criminal career jobs mall is technically allowed to have a job but we decided or i decided not we i decided not to get her a job just because to me <clears throat> i would rather have one sim around at all times to control and it also kind of makes the challenge even easier than it should be uh mostly because there's you know she a is always around and b it makes it to where when everybody's at work, Mal is able to, I'm able to control her and have access to everything in the house. Uh, you know, there'll be a bed if she needs to catch up on sleep, things like that. She just farted. She totally just farted. Either that or she just stinks. Nope, that was a fart. Girl, why are you so gross? All right, let me see what's up. Did everybody get a job? I know that was not everyone. What the heck? You did not find a job. I don't wait did he okay he's getting one right now the criminal career I don't think everyone had one also I apologize if you can hear my cat crying in the background he really wants attention right now but like boy we are busy all right I think she is working on getting hers right now there we go let's go ahead and snag that criminal career I just want to make sure that everybody has it that is supposed to. Okay, you still need a job, Carlos. I hate that we have to do this, though, at the same time because it doesn't leave us a lot to interact with Sims. He was also talking to Uma. He was chatting with her. Hmm. Maybe he's trying to find another way out, a sneakier way out of the asylum. Not so much. All right, let's snag this for him. I think Evie already got it. Um, Mal doesn't have a job. Uma got it and Harry got it. Okay. So Mal, we're not giving a job to, but I do think she should be doing something. And most people said to make it go along with the aspiration. So I'm actually going to alter her aspiration, which is not against the rules. Technically you can change it at any time. I'm going to go ahead and actually change it to creative because she can do painting, which will help earn money. And it will also just like boost what we're trying to do so we're going to do painting and see how that goes hopefully it goes well i'm not really sure oh wow everyone just went to bed except for her 
Uh, we actually need to go wake some of these Sims up and delete some beds. We're only allowed to have six slots for sleeping in total. So I have to actually delete some of these. We're going to keep one double bed because I think it's hilarious to watch them scramble and have to sleep in a bed together. So mission number one will probably be for Mal to talk with someone so she can actually share a bed with someone. So that's two right there. This counts for two slots three, four, five, six. So we're just going to sell this one and this one. So now we only have those. We're also only allowed seating. Let me see. We're only allowed seating for eight. So we're going to sell quite a number of these benches. I'm just going to leave one. Um, we're also going to get rid of this computer. We're going to get rid of this chair. Wait, so the bench, I believe seats three if I'm not mistaken two or three I want to say it seats three so we're only allowed seating for eight did I say six I meant to say eight so that's three six so we need to go ahead and just delete these so we'll take those out uh, we also need to take out several of these dining chairs I'm pretty sure I don't really want to I kind of want to leave the dining chairs we might just cheat a little bit keep the dining chairs and just get rid of these um, and I can't really get rid of these though I think I'm just gonna get rid of the couch leave one chair in here I'm gonna leave those because they go with the chess table and then we're allowed five skill building objects so this would be one two three four five we need to delete one I'm gonna delete this and mostly because we have the exercise equipment outside I believe the computer technically counts as a skill building objects but object but we're gonna ignore that um, cause we are allowed to have a TV and a computer. It said that. So we're going to keep our bookshelves as well because meh, they're just, they're literally bookshelves and we already have one. So I did get rid of at least something though, which was the guitar. And then I believe we're only allowed to have two bathrooms. So I need to get rid of one of these completely. So I'm just going to sell everything that's in here, the shower, the toilet, the sink. Um, so that's out. And, oh, we also need to change our money down. Okay, so we need to change our money, which we're going to do testing cheats true. And then if you guys didn't know this little trick, it's money. And then you just change it. You literally just type money and then the number you want. We get a $1,000 or simoleons. Um, so we are cheating the seating just a little bit. We may end up deleting a little bit more of the seating. Oh, I'm going to delete these ones too. Because uh, I just feel like it's a bit excessive and you can nap in the chairs. That's my only issue. Like maybe we'll take out this bench that's outside too. I wasn't gonna because I think it's gonna look ugly without it. But I think it's necessary. We just have so much seating. Because this is already three in one room and we're already cheating with eight in the dining room. And that's all we're supposed to have. And we have the computer chair. Uh, and I think that's it. So yeah, we're technically already cheating by like four chairs. So we're just going to make sure we're trying to delete all of the excess. Uh, we are allowed to have a maid and we are allowed to order pizza if we have the income, which I think that's going to be like the hardest part. Oh, it does say that the TV does not count as a skill item. Um, I wonder if that's changed because of the fitness pack though, because you technically are able to also gain skill from the TV with like the exercise videos, etc. Okay. So I think that's all we needed to do. I'm pretty sure. I think if, if I'm forgetting anything, guys, let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to make sure it gets all fixed before the next part. So, um, we're going to go ahead and work on Mal. So she is, she needs to do some painting. So let's go ahead. Let's scrap this painting because it's not ours. And we're going to start a new painting with her. She is tired, but I think all of the beds are currently taken. We no longer can control all the rest of the Sims, but we can talk to them and try to build relationships with them to work on things. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to fast forward a smidge to see what we're working on here. What, what are we working on? What are we working on? 
I love how they give it like the thumbs up while they're going like, like they're trying to prove it to themselves with their own thumbs up like, Oh, yeah, I'm doing such a good job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like a Bob Ross painting. Yes. Happy accidents and happy trees. Yes. If you guys don't know who Bob Ross is, you need to get yourselves on Netflix right this minute. Go look at Bob Ross. He is everything. He will make you feel like you can paint anything. It's not even a joke. Oh, okay. So she's done. Apparently we're going to go ahead and sell this to a collector. Oh, snap. She just pulled an all nighter. You go Glen Coco. And actually, so we did earn $78, which are simoleons. I always say dollars. We're going to go ahead. We're not going to worry about dishes right now because the bathroom is, oh wait, no, that bathroom's not open. Is the bathroom down here open? Okay. Because this bathroom right here is open, we're going to go ahead and utilize this. We're going to go pee, take a shower. That's one thing I've learned with this series. Having done it before is you really need to utilize anything that isn't currently being occupied. So if you see that a toilet is open, even if your Sim doesn't need to pee, utilize it. Same with the bath, because trust me with eight Sims in the house, two bathrooms is not enough. I guarantee you that you will be like, what the heck? So we're going to go ahead and utilize both of these. And it looks like Evie's awake. <sighs> Mal is getting tired, but I think we have a little more time that we can keep working with her. And she's not super hungry, which is good. I feel like I should probably start worrying about the housework just because I'm seeing where dishes are stacking, but I'm, I kind of just don't want to care about it. <laughs> That's not a lie. I really just don't want to care. Okay. So let's come over here. Let's be friendly with Evie. Let's describe a new idea because then if Evie is ever in the bed, we can try to sleep with her. <laughs> um, that's kind of the goal is we need to really be friends with most people, but it's going to be hard because, oh wait, no, our thing is painter. We're not the public enemy. So actually, oh snap, they are having woohoo discussions. Les, be honest right now. What the heck? I love it. Yes, queens. Okay. Talk about dreams. Uh, friendly. Ask about day. Oh, that's right. We're about to go cloud gaze. All right. Let's, let's, oh, right on the porch. I thought for sure they were going to go walk down there. Can we talk about how this asylum looks like a freaking fancy prison ground? Like, it's so plain back here, but at the same time, it has like two fountains. Um, I did not build this house. If you search up Asylum on the gallery, it's one of the first ones that comes up. I used it in my last series and I'm using it in this series. Um, I believe I shouted at the original creator in my first LP that was Asylum based. So definitely make sure you look it up on the gallery. I believe there's no CC either. Like you don't have to check enable mods to find it. Aww. Let me see what they're actually dreaming. Okay. Piggles. Yes. Oh my gosh. Charlotte's web. Ooh, actually Charlotte's web is kind of dark. Let's not talk about that. Like, can we talk about how Charlotte did not need to die? Like spoiler alert, by the way, if you haven't seen Charlotte's web, uh, Charlotte dies at the end. <laughs> Llamas, frogs. I like that. They're all like corresponding in animals right now. Bats and hummingbirds. Oh, it's kind of cool because like turtle and llama, like they're all, oh, they both saw a plane. Oh, that's cool. If you look at like what they're looking, okay, well that didn't really correspond, but like this is like a four-legged animal, like you know what I'm saying? Oh snap, the in sync is real. <laughs> bye bye bye. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so Mall is like super tired. I'm gonna see if any of the beds are open. It does not appear so. So let's go back downstairs and let's go try to nap in this chair before she actually falls over. She is so tired and Evie's really tired too. Evie, did you? Okay. I thought she took this chair and I was about to be so pissed. <gasps> Mulan. I know that's not your name, but how dare you? Oh my gosh. Okay. So we can't nap there. Oh, we can nap in this chair. It's not a big deal. It's, it's not even a big deal. We can just go nap in front of the computer, which is super rude. Wait, what the heck? Can you go here, please? Wait, you're not going to be able to sleep there. Stop trying. <sighs> she really wants to go try to get into this bed. You're not friends with him. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't want your earbuds. Get out. <sighs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Did a bed free up? 
<gasps> the bed did free up. Yes, queen. No, Evie's going up there. No, Evie. Aha, I beat you to it, hussy. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some rest. Mal is up from sleep and everybody went to work, which is awesome because now the night is our oyster. And Mal literally slept through like most of the day. She currently is eating a grilled cheese that, believe it or not, all on his freaking own, Jay made. So I'm actually going to go ahead and plop those into the fridge. And she's just enjoying herself, talking to herself, getting crazy. Uh, she is hungry. I really wish she would eat. What are you doing? Okay, she is going to eat. Um, when do all these Sims get off? I am going to click on their portraits just to see when they get home. Okay, they get home at midnight. So they are actually going to be home soon. She slept through most of their work day. I can't believe they all actually made it to work. Like, did not see that coming. Oh, okay. $63, $63, $63, $63. Harry swiped an object while he was at work. Oh, sweet. $63, $63, $63. Okay. So everybody made $63. We made almost a thousand dollars in money today, which is nice. I think the most important thing is leveling up Mal's uh, friendships and leveling up her painting skill, because that is really what's going to be the big money maker for us. I think, what do we need from Mal right now, though? Nothing. She's actually doing great. You know what, though? Because the toilet's open, I'm going to go ahead and send her to go use that. Also, we're not allowed to buy new objects, but we are allowed to upgrade objects. So we're allowed to use, like, handiness skill to do that. So, yay. Now we're all in the green. So far, I feel like this has been super easy. I'm not sure how everybody else is adjusting, though. Why are you guys all just sitting outside? Like, what are you doing? Are you guys broken? Are you, is you good? <laughs> They've all just been standing outside. Okay, there we go. They're going inside now. I don't know what that was about. Whatever, it bought us a little more time. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them head immediately upstairs to bed like uh, this one. What's her name? Lonnie. Lonnie was so tired when she went to work. Um, Harry apparently is just smelly. Gosh, Ben has a ton of things wrong with him. Lonnie, I think, was actually the most tired. I think she was the only one who didn't get a bed space. So that that's what that's about. So... Let's go ahead and speed through this painting just a bit, see what we're going to come up with. And hopefully it's going to be worth more than the last one. $78 isn't bad for a first original art piece, but it could have been so much better. Vlad, we do not want to talk to you. Can you please get out? Like, no. No, 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 no. We do not want to be vampires in this house. He's probably going to come bite one of us. All right, man, this painting's ugly. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this one to a collector as well. $152. Look at us go. Let's do a classic painting and we'll do a small classic painting uh, because we are what's we're inspired right now. And usually when you're inspired, if you do like whatever em emote, I guess you're currently in, if you do that thing, usually your paintings sell for more. So uh, money, money, money. I would love to get to a point where we're making enough money to the point that we can hire a maid. That would be three legit five quit. I have found previously that that like the nastiness in this house or like the asylum house tends to get really, really, really bad if you let it overhaul and like take over. Okay, let's go ahead and sell this to a collector. 113. Not bad. Pop art painting. Let's, okay, we'll do one more painting and then we're going to go see who we can talk to. If Evie's still awake, oh, looks like she's in bed. Yeah, she's asleep. Okay. So we're not, I mean, we could go do literally anything. We can go try to be friends with Uma as well. Um, honestly, if we build all of our friendships, like I said, that always will secure us a bed. No matter who is in that double size bed, we will always be able to get into it, which I think is really important. This painting's ugly too. Why is anybody buying these? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. What is our skill set at right now? What are we, what are we? We're already at painting level three and that's what she made. Oh, look, she just completed a milestone. Sweet. Okay, achieve level four painting skill. 
Sell three paintings to the collector or art gallery. Complete three emotional paintings. Okay, so let's... What is she? I didn't even tell her to do that. She just started doing it. And it looks like Carlos is snagging one of the last beds. And we are going to go ahead and close off the episode here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Please do not forget to follow me on the social medias, Instagram and Twitter. I'm at CoffeeYT. And on... Twitch. I'm just coffee where I stream five days a week and I do play the Sims when I stream. I don't think I mentioned that in the last part. I do play the Sims. Uh, not every time. It's about once a week, but make sure you follow me to come and catch those live. I would love to have you. All the links are provided down below. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in a future video. This is coffee signing off. Bye you guys. Mm -hmm.